Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel today. Today's video request is how to use the branding kit in Canva. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, by the way, uh, just a heads up, the branding kit feature in Canva is unfortunately only available for those with a Canva subscription. But it is indeed a very useful tool and I'm going to show you why in today's video and if it's something that you need, then you might want to consider signing up for Canva's free trial so that you'd be able to try it for yourself. And okay, we're going to get started. First, we're going to go to the side panel over here and we're going to click on Brand Hub. Okay, so now I actually have this um, existing brand kit over here, but we're going to create a new one today. So we're going to click on Add New. So this is going to be the name of our new brand kit. It could be the name of your business or whatever. Um, you can put any name you want to put over here. In my case, we're just going to put my logo. Since I created a logo um, called my logo earlier. So I'm going to click on create. Oh, by the way, everyone in your team, in case you're uh, in a Canva team or you have Canva teams, everyone in your team will have access to this brand kit only administrators and brand designers can make changes to this brand kit however so go ahead and click on create and here we are so the thing that's really nice about this branding kit is that you'll be able to build your business's identity through your logos colors and fonts so you'll be able to build a theme that people will recognize and will be able to associate with your business and i think that's really nice because it will make your business seem professional or look professional i mean so we're gonna start with our logos so yeah you can upload your logos by dragging them over here or you can click on this add new button for me i'm gonna click on add new and I'm going to click on Upload Logos. So navigate to the location of your logos. In my case, I'm going to click on these and then I'm going to click on Open and they'll be uploaded right over here. I think it's really um, important for you to have different variations of your logo and that is because you're going to be creating designs with different backgrounds. So in order for your um, in order for your logos to be visible or logo to be visible, you're going to need a variation. So for example, I'm going to use this white circle on a darker background design. And if I'm using a white background for my design, then I can go with this black logo so that it'll, it'll be more visible. And yeah, if you know what I mean. So here's an example. Yeah, and I'm going to show you how I made this logo later on. So we're going to go back to our branding kit and we're going to scroll down. This time we're going to select our branding colors or brand colors. You can actually click on or manually um, add colors to your brand colors. But um, in my case, I only have two colors in my logo. So we can use black and white, just simply that. If you have a logo that is of different colors, I'm going to show you. Like um, this one, for example, let's click that. Then Canva will automatically create a palette for you based on the logo, the, the colors of the logo that you uploaded over here. And yeah, I guess I'm not going to need that. I'm just going to delete that and remove this palette so we're going to manually add our colors so we're going to click on this button over here just going to add black and then add white just going to go with something simple today but feel free to add whatever colors you'd like your brand to have now let's go to the font section this time we'll be able to choose um, different fonts for different texts so for our title, we can add a 
really strong font right here. Just Archivo Black, for example. And then for our heading, we can choose something similar. How about Arimo? Turn it to bold and like that. And then for the body, I'd like to use a paragraph text. Or I mean a, a paragraph font, I mean. Okay, and that should do it. I think I'm quite happy with my fonts right now. So we're just going to go with something really simple. All right, we're going to scroll down. And then if you have photos that you want to upload for your branding, then go ahead and upload them here or by clicking this button. Same goes for graphics and icons. And once you're done, I think it's already saved. And you'll be able to see your brand over here on my logo. And I'm going to go back to my brand hub and I can see my new branding kit over here. And you can now finally use that on your designs. Once you design something, you'll be able to access your um, branding logo. Let me just show you how. Oh, or maybe we could just use this. And yeah, you can go to Brand Hub over here on the sidebar. And then we're going to click on Brand Kit and select our new brand kit. And there we go. Okay, so when you're creating design for your brand, it'll be really easy for you now because here in the brand hub, you'll be able to easily access your logos, your colors, as well as your chosen fonts and other um, important things for your brand. And that's it for today. That's how you can use the branding kit in Canva. If you want to see how I created the, um, these logos, then feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, yeah, we really appreciate it already. We hope you found today's video of help somehow.